Okay, I'm under the hood of the Trooper here with this uh, Lexus V8 mounted. I just wanted to kind of go over the way that this stuff works. Um, all of the wires that run this motor basically come out of this loom here on the back. Um, these are all the wires that run up here to all these sensors and the injectors and all that stuff. They all want run out of, out of this loom and to this junction right here. And this coincidentally fits perfectly into the hole that the iTech loom came out of. So when you pull the iTech out, uh, you pull all those wires back through the firewall, this loom will plug right in here perfectly. You've got a small loom that comes up here and these go to the igniters that will mount over here on the apron. And you've got the airflow meter, which is gonna mount out here somewhere. Um, and then aside from that, you've got the big black positive that goes at the starter like normal. And then we just use the stock uh, trooper negative and that'll be grounded to the block as well. So once you've pulled the iTech and you've cleaned all this stuff up, um, there's normally that shielding plate right here. And this is the headlight relays. Um, and then you've got a few plugs and relays that come out of the firewall here. And this stuff could all be pulled back through here. Um, we've got a couple wires that come off here that need to be out here. You've got the stuff for the wiper motor and the um, uh, cruise control if you were gonna run that. And then, um, I, don't, I don't remember what this one's for, but um, most of this stuff could be pulled back through here is what I'm getting at. And you could just be left with just a, a small amount of wires coming out here to run your wiper and cruise control and then uh, that's oh this is this is your smog stuff so we don't even need that vacuum switching valves and whatnot so literally just this and this and then uh, you know ground that could even be grounded inside but that's really all there is here this stuff will all be pulled back through the back through the firewall um open the door please So what I've done on the Lexus LS400, this is a 93, it's exactly the same as the one that we were using the, for the motor and the trooper. I've gone ahead and gutted the dash out of this thing, but left everything plugged in so you can see how it all looks on this side and where it all goes. And it's all basically pretty simple. This is that loom that I was just showing you that comes through the dash of the trooper and it comes down and plugs into the ECM. All three of those wires plug into the ECM. That's all controlling the motor. This is what goes to the car. It gives, you know, powers up the, the engine. There's, you know, your your O2 light, your ignition, ignition, ignition switch on, your crank. All those types of wires come in here. And so you have all those same type of wires on your iTech stock on your Trooper. So what it's, it's just a matter of, you know, pulling the ECM on the trooper, identifying what wires do what, and then splicing them onto here so that we can power up the Toyota ECM. Um, we've got a couple of the plugs over here that go to the transmission control modules and stuff like that, which we're not gonna be using because we're running a five speed. So that's basically it. I mean, you've got, um, you know, AC controls and your check engine light and then power from the ignition and a few grounds and whatnot. But essentially this here, is all you have to do to power up the Lexus motor. You know what I mean? This, this whole loom right here just comes right out of the firewall down to here, and we've just duplicated that on the trooper, and then it's just a matter of, you know, getting all these. Actually, you don't even use all of them. I think there's only seven, seven or eight. I've got seven or eight wires marked that need to go from the trooper wiring harness to this plug right here in order to fire up the uh, Lexus motor.